can we how can we help the United States decline gracefully as an empire? I thought Steve should answer this because he's British and they know all about declining gracefully as an empire. Britain did de decline fairly gracefully as an empire, although there was an inevitable an inevitability about about the end of empire for a number of reasons. One of which was that the country was broke; it could no longer afford it. But there's a great quote from A. J. P. Taylor where he says, uh, "The object of being a great power is to fight a great, is the ability to fight a great war. The way to remain a great power is not to fight one." <laughs> And, Would you and say that, that, that Britain didn't, um, didn't um, uh, borrow itself into financial uh, ruin as America has done today? During World War II it did, mm. of necessity. Mm. Um, it, just, it just didn't have the resources necessity to fight that war. Necessity being national defence? Uh, I think... I, what would have happened I, in the worst picture? Well, it, wasn't, it wasn't just a national defence, it was, it, it was, it was a defence of, uh, of, of, of the future of Europe in that many ways. Is. It was, and it was really. You know, I mean, you can't you can't compare you can't compare Saddam Hussein to uh, to uh, to Adolf Hitler. Uh, well, uh, let me tell you that, that some in this uh, some in the present administration have done just that and continue to do just. But I mean, that. what would have happened if perhaps Britain had not taken the loans from the United States and had ended up occupied temporarily, by either temporarily or for a long period of time occupied by Germany? Um, I, there, there have it been, wouldn't have been the end of the world, right? It would have been a dark uh, period for Britain, sure in British Britain, history. Britain would have been, um, it, Britain may even have been better off. You know, Britain was one of the favoured nations. It was one of the one of the purer nations. Mm. Um, and and for for most of the British population, I think. Um, uh, I think National Socialism could well have produced better living circumstances at the time. You know, we're talking about 1930s for a white, and 40s. For a white, homogenous white exactly. society exactly. In, the, exactly. in the structure yeah. of the yeah. Nazi. Yeah, yeah. not too many gypsies around. Right. Um, you know, the Jews could have been dealt with fairly efficiently as well. But interestingly enough, from the outset, the British did oppose that. And the, trade, the dockers, the, the dog workers union came out and put down the black shirts. So the it fascists, would have been so the, would have been the end of, of your empire anyway. Because you would have become part of somebody else's empire. We would have empire. become part of somebody else's empire, yeah. So yeah. basically Although, it was go with the dark side and lose your empire right. or leverage yourself financially and lose your empire. Right. Although So do it yourself or have it done. Although soon. it wasn't quite it wasn't quite that simple because Britain was able to mobilize uh, quite a lot of the empire in, uh, to, to fight against uh, to fight against the Axis nations. Mm. Uh, you know, so the so the Indian uh, the, the Indian military were used as were uh, as were West Indian. I'd like I just like to not challenge but raise the presumption in this question, which is that the United States is in fact an empire. And I think that while that is not an inaccurate description, I think it is an empire in a in a slightly different sense than the way the word has been used up until this century, probably, in that it is a financial empire, it is an empire of economic um, exchange and, and manipulation rather than a physical or governmental All empires empire. are. They just, they just need to be enforced militarily. Right. It's only latterly that the American empire has, has, has felt the need I was to, about to say, we, to don't inst we, don't, we don't take over governments and appoint them, but in fact it, we do. <laughs> this, is, this, this, is, this, is, this is the first time that the United States has, has felt the need to enforce that uh, Economic. imperial droit de seigneur personally. They've managed to do so by proxy on a number of occasions. So I think we concur that it is empire in one manner, shape, or form, and that it's yeah, not I, that different. You, you, you've got you, you've got to be a complete lunatic. I think. I think. To, there, to, I think, uh, I think to deny there is an empire. I don't. I don't disagree with your your description of, of 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 Britain and how it might be a role model for the United States to gracefully decline. I think the reality is that the difference between the United States today and Britain at the time of World War II are dramatic enough to say that Americans are going to continue to exist in a level of denial about their place in the world mm -hmm. and the slippage that's right. occurring yeah. long enough to mm -hmm. make that cliff much more precipitous when they meet it. So you instead, saying... instead of sort of riding the slide down, I think Americans are more likely to continue out like, like Roadrunner. And carry on fighting. You know, sort of carry out over the cliff and then realize there's nothing beneath them and then go so, straight down. So, so what you're saying is that... I think it's possible for violent revolution. What, what, you're, what you're saying is that the way that, uh, the, 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 the way that the U.S. empire declines, whether peacefully or violently, is completely and utterly dependent upon the, the internal conditions. The perception of the American public of their own status, uh -huh. yes. Right.
Yeah. Kind of like, you know, the Roadrunner thing, right? Where he goes yep. out over the cliff uh-huh. and he keeps mm-hmm. going. Yeah. Is it Roadrunner or Coyote? He's, he's Roadrunner. Right. No, it's Coyote. Oh, it's Coyote. Roadrunner always road. has gone around the edge, right? Yeah. It's Coyote, sorry. Uh-huh. He goes out there and then he realizes there's yeah. nothing but Wiley, Wiley Coyote. Wiley Coyote. Roadrunner's got good brakes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, so I think that's... Um,